Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're the Gnomes of. This is Sharon Oyella, and this is a continuation of our uh, pumpkin house. In the last video, I was working with this string of lights right here that turned on the candles on the windowsill and on that table. In the last video, I showed you how to do the candles themselves, and I made them out of uh, wax crayons, and I also used some real candles, and we lit them up. So that video ended with just this here. I showed you how to attach them to the wire, and this video is going to show you what I did with them and how I got them attached to a table and all that. So if you missed the last video, that will be in the pinned comment below. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep you in the intro any longer. We're just going to dive right in and get started because I want to light this place up and get it decorated. All right, starting with the table underneath the window first, I'm just going to do a very simple thing here using a piece of cardboard. I'm just going to have to keep trimming it down because I have a rounded wall, so I'm just going to trim this down until I have it fitting in there the way I want it to. And once I got that trimmed down, then there's an open edge of the cardboard, which is not paintable. So I'm just going to hot glue a piece of twine here. You can use paper as well, of course. And then over that, I do a layer of white glue and rub that all the way around. And that, that will ensure that the twine stays in place and it'll make it easier for painting as well. And I'll let that dry. Once it was dry, I painted it black and then let that dry. And then I gave it a coat of hunter green, just on the top side. And then I finished that off with a, a dry brushing of a beige and a little bit of black, just to give a bit of a wood grain to it. The legs, I decided to go with a twig that I found that has a fork at the end. So I just cut the top of the twig off and I'll use the fork as the legs. I'm just going to attach this with tacky glue and I'll let that dry. And then I decided I was going to add three candles to my windowsill, but my windowsills are very sloped. So I'm going to add a fake wood one, of course. So just a, again, a piece of cardboard and I painted it black and then I added the colors on top of that. And the little lip there was kind of um, not sitting right. So I'm just going to glue in a piece of, t of twine here and tacky glue. So that will hold the front of the windowsill down and then I'll let that dry. And now I'm attaching the candles to the top and I just use hot glue because I'm going to be dripping wax over top. And I actually dripped it in the front and also in behind, which I, I'm not showing on film, but it's, it's going all the way around those candles. Now take a look at my windowsill here. I had to assemble it with before gluing it in because I want to know exactly where the wires are supposed to go. I have the long string, remember, that's going to come out towards my shed there. So now I could put the masking tape over top and then I'm going to put I'm going to seal this in permanently because the masking tape won't hold forever. So I'm going to put paper over top, so glue and then my paper and then glue over top that. And that will keep that sealed in permanently and then I could paint it black. Now I need to have some wax dripping on the back of the table as well to make it look natural like this. But what I had done was I glued that uh, wire, the one near my thumb there, originally on the other side. So that was a big mistake on my part. So now my string is shortened up and I have the bulb in the wrong spot. So I had to bring it back and then I had to reseal it. And because I had the bulb there, then I had to make another candle to put on top of that bulb. And because of that, I need a little candle holder. So I'm just trying to fix up some of my mistakes here. So I just took a little tiny piece of um, cardboard from a cracker box, made a circle, and now I just outlined it with twine. And I'm just making sure that's going to stay glued in there. So once you get the twine down, you can let it dry just for a few minutes until it's, um, the glue won't stick to your fingers. Then you can play around with it a little bit more. So right here, my twine doesn't totally meet from end to end, and that's so I can have my wires uh, in the back without too much uh, problems. So I just painted this gray. I was just playing around with colors and then a light gray over top that. I didn't like it, so I did dry brushing of a darker gray again. And then over that, I did a glitter glam a nail polish just to add a bit of a sparkle so it looks like silver. And then I realized I need a handle. <laughs> I was just winging it here, guys. And so I glued this little piece of twine in and I'm just going to kind of shape that in the back there before cutting off the excess. So more glue, just getting that to shape a bit. Let that dry. And now it's dry. I'm going to cut off the excess. Add a little bit more glue, make sure it holds that shape, and then I can go ahead and paint it. Now I'm going to stick it underneath my candle. So I'm going to glue this in place before I put my candle in. So a little bit of tacky glue, and then I'll let that dry. Once that was dry, I just dripped in some red wax to match the candle, and this will hold my candle in permanently. So I'll just push that into the hot wax, hold it for a few seconds until it holds, and there we go. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. 
for a mistake. And uh, in the back, I'm just going to push down those wires through that little crack I had in the twine. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint this the same color as my table. And that just takes care of the silver. No one's going to see that anyway, the way it's uh, positioned. But anyways, moving on, uh, the bulb next to the table is going to be hidden behind my fireplace. So I painted that black so there won't be anything shining when I do turn on the lights. This I've already positioned inside and I know exactly where it's going to go. So now I'm going to permanently attach this. I'm going to use tacky glue around the ed back edge of the table and underneath the windowsill. And then I'm going to use hot glue to hold these in place while the tacky glue dries. And then of course, putting this into place, all you saw is my hand. So I just edited out most of it. I'm going to show you the front side and that turned out awesome. I'm really happy that I decided to go with the candles on the windowsill. Now the rest of the bulbs, I wasn't planning on this, but I ended up painting them red and I'm going to use them inside the fireplace. And that worked out beautifully. So let's take a look here. So that one bulb that I painted black is hidden right behind there. And then the wire comes around the front. I'm going to be covering this up with more stones so you won't see it in the future. Three red bulbs inside and then the remaining string hot glued along this wall here. And then my battery pack inside the shed. So I'll just take it out so you can see how long uh, the remaining string is. So in the future I can take it out and change batteries without too much issue there. Sorry for the shaky filming. Once I had the uh, wire all figured out, then I can go ahead and attach my shed permanently. So I just use tacky glue and moss all the way around. So I've already attached my new stonework over the wire and a piece inside the uh, fireplace as well back there. And it's already been painted. It's still drying. But if you need to see how I, uh, how I do that kind of work, I have other videos here on YouTube that shows you how to do it. All right, so let's start decorating. I'm using this uh, candle adhesive I found in a thrift store. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. It'll just attach my uh, pieces without uh, doing it permanently and they won't be moving around when I move the house. So I'm attaching some crystals that I made on video for you guys. If you need to see that, that link is in the pinned comment below. And I have a plant. It's not on video. It's in my stash. So I'm just going to attach it to this uh, vintage thread spool. I actually wrapped orange thread around this one just to give it some color. And then I had another couple of plants. Here's one here. I don't know exactly where these came from. My sister-in-law gave them to me, so I don't know if she made them or, or found them. Anyways, we're going to be making plants in the future, but I just needed to fill up these spaces now. And then these two cases right here. Now these are from, I think 2020 is when I had the video up. The video was taken down and I was going to edit out some things that YouTube didn't like about them, <laughs> but my, I lost the video. Anyways, we're going to be remaking these in the future. I did make another fun shape shelf for you on video that shows you how to do it just without the uh, tops on them, but I will show you how to do these ones uh, very soon, guys. Anyways, for this one, I made this little instrument inside. This is just foil, tape, and then a, a paper napkin over top. Okay, and these are two sticks. The string is a uh, sewing thread and these are two tiny little nails. Okay, so I don't have that on video either, but in the future we'll be making some of those. So I decided to turn this one into a little firebox. So my pieces of wood are just a stick that I split and then I started from the back. I put three in and then I put a layer of tacky glue, two more on top, tacky glue, and I did it that way. So that way my, my wood always stays in shape there. And then my little tiny one here. Now this is made with a cracker box. It's made the same way I did the fun shape shelf. It just has a lid, that's all. And again, we'll be doing that in the future. So I've decided to turn this into a little crystal holder and to keep it open, I have a little pin right here. I'm just gonna put that in there and that will hold the lid up. And that will sit on the little table right there. And for my little musical instrument, I decided to make it a little stand. I didn't do this on video. It's just a piece of wire uh, I bent with my pliers. And then the stem was bent at the top to hold the uh, neck of the uh, instrument. I don't even know what you call this little instrument. <laughs> anyway, it stands up great. So it's going to sit beside my little plant in there. And then I had a crocheted rug and I did do this on video. It's just not released yet. And I'll probably be releasing that after Halloween. So I'll teach you guys how to crochet a little round rug. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of another video. In the next one, I'm going to be finishing up this room. I'm already started the little table and I can't wait to finish that. And there's a lot of more fun things coming up. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you are so you know when the next video is available. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.